Hi guys, welcome back to I the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. We have another body cut in half, and this time it is Tokiko, president of Nizet Laws. We synced with her last time, and now she's dead. We synced with Chikara, and he died right after. Something weird is going on. I mean, aside from the fact that bodies are being molecularly torn apart in perfect halves, and just left for us to find them. I don't know what's going on, man. We found this like underground cathedral. There was an unidentified person that we we just saw as a blue figure. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but unidentified person was down there. Ryuki ended up falling because of them and, and we faded to black. That's where I had to end the last episode. And I know, cliffhanger. But today we're gonna pick it back up. So. Make sure you guys leave a comment, say hi, I'd love to hear from you, and enjoy today's video. Farewell. February 13th, Wednesday. Boss! I apologize for yesterday! Ryuki, we wouldn't need police if an apology solved everything. <sighs> I know you're doing your best on this investigation. Nevertheless, your screw-up yesterday really cost us. The investigation hasn't been proceeding like we hoped. I'll make up for it! Please, give me another chance! <sighs> this reminds me of something. My daughter's been begging me not to decrease her allowance when she gets bad grades. Oh, she really does have a daughter? I thought it was just an animal. Hydrate? Okay. Okay, let me see. Hmm. Still no branches, huh? I thought I came to one earlier. But I guess not. Are we gonna have any dialogue right now? If only I could control you like an RC car. Ryuki, let me give you some good advice. Yes, Mario? Squint your eyes and stand back six feet and the mosaic will disappear. What kind of advice is that? Very important advice. A tanu- Whoops. A tanuki may have been the better choice for the new investigator. What? That's just mean! Why are you being so mean? I'd like to turn you into a soccer ball. Boss! Something feels weird about all this. I will become the star of the police. That is what I vowed, but... But... I feel like... Every time I try to push you in the right direction, you fold like those curtains. Come on, boss. Is your head as empty as that pumpkin, Ryuki? She's just gonna freaking talk shit about us this whole time, or what? This incident will stain your record more than spilled coffee. You're not very, very supportive, boss. Stands firm even after getting stabbed over and over again. I could learn something from that. True. I have a point there. Want to take a bath together? That sounds like a trap, so no thank you. Ah, but what if it wasn't a trap? So cool. You're not gonna improve my mood like that. Not even the in sync boy band poster. Christmas tree. Computer. 
Want to try putting that mask on? No, thank you. What are you trying to say? My face ugly? Oh, I want to hang down from that plant. Pull it apart, rip it apart, and throw it at the wall? That's how I feel inside anyway, but not that I'd act on it. Kind of strange thing to say. Balloon. I'm so angry. Lanterns? I wonder if Boss would forgive me if I took her to a red light place. Oh my. Rug. Desk. Um. Rotation ring. Bike, man, there's so much symbol. I smacked the hell out of some symbols last night, like that monkey toy. Before I knew it, it was morning already. What? Lady, you're so weird. She's in a bad mood. Show motivation. It's all right now. Oh god. Because I Not am this. Here. Half my Excuse me. What I'm trying to say is. I'm motivated, so please let me stay on this case. I'll solve this case no matter what it takes. In fact, I'm the only one who can. <sighs> Look, you realize it was that kind of gung-ho attitude that led you to making that mistake yesterday, right? I understand you want to distinguish yourself, but you're biting off more than you can chew. I... I can't just stop now! I should be able to handle this better than anyone! Ryuki, boss is right. You're getting too impatient. Your life isn't over because of one little slip up. More importantly, you need to accept your faults and learn from mistakes. About Boss's daughter. Your daughter? I'm still not used to hearing that. Oh? Well, I guess it's true that I don't give off a maternal image. Yeah, not really. I haven't done anything motherly at all, really. My daughter just turned 18 last year, but... She pretty much grew up all on her own. Eighteen? She's older than I thought. <laughs> you wouldn't think it looking at this figure, huh? She's a grown woman now. She's capable of handling her business. six years ago. 18. A mommy. What I really... Who I really want to look at is... What's her name? Kizuna. She's 18. She looks like boss. Let's see. Likes dancing, shoes, Cinderella, children, big sis, dislikes the unemployed. Um, she hates homeless people, it's great. Um, skills, dancing, reading fairy tales, the daughter of the uber-rich Chieta family. She's in the dance club at school with Iris and Amami. She's the most gifted singer and dancer in the club. Uh, so she has a family to account for. Uh, I don't know if we know her, um, they're all 18. I don't know if we know her daughter or not. Unlike a certain someone who gets overeager and screws up big time. <sighs> Wink sink. I thought you were a bit more capable than this, Ryuki. Jeez! I mean, I got chewed out by my higher-ups, too. What even happened? After work tonight, I'm going to my favorite host club and popping every champagne bottle in there. Alright, girl. Any new information about the investigation? Nothing other than what you already know. Oh, right. There is some news about the case. It has an official name now. Oh? The Half-Body Serial Killings. 
Oh, right. We know that, but only because we've been six years in the future. But that's pretty long, so we've just been calling it the HB case. The HB case. Now you know how the media is. You don't solve this quick and they might end up calling you the half-brain investigator. So you'd better start getting things done, Ryuki. I'm trying. This is kind of a weird case. They're... Dice. I understand your enthusiasm, Ryuki. They're cut in half at the molecular level. Like, we're not dealing with normal villains here. So I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself. Thank you. I want you to continue investigating this case. Th thank you! But I need you to follow orders from above. Orders from above? What do you mean? It's official. Kuruto Ryuki, you're being demoted to a police officer. Demoted? What? This is for yesterday's fiasco. Wait, you mean like a normal cop? That's terrible! That's way too harsh! However, I'll give you three days. If you can resolve the case within that time, I'll take back your punishment and you won't be demoted. Three days? Ryuki, we should look at this in a positive light. We can continue the investigation, and if we can solve it in three days, you can avoid demotion. It's impossible. We barely made any progress. How can I solve the case in three days? Ryuki... Demoted? Me? I'd rather be a bum on the street than a disgraced cop. Uh, but then... Kizuna will... Kizuna will, won't like you anymore. Ryuki! Oh, and the communication system still hasn't been fixed. So any data Tama obtains can't be uploaded to the cloud yet. Right. So just like I said before, Tama's data will be lost if her body is damaged. Be careful. You seem completely out of it. Ryuki. Well... I got brainwashed, man. It made me do horrible things. Are you okay, Ryuki? No! Not. Yeah. I think the scenery helped me calm down a bit. But to think... Demoted. Me. You still have three days. If you can solve the case by then... It's impossible. I can't believe I was told this today, of all days. The day of all days. Wednesday? Well, it's not his birthday. Gun Fu? Gun Fu? He collects converted Bilna Marka? He dislikes evil, cheating, wicked thoughts, lying and demo lies and demotions. <laughs> he really does not like demotions. <laughs> a highly educated rich boy hired right out of school. He lost his parents in a plane crash when he was young. He had been living with his younger brother until he too passed away when he was still in high school. Hmm. About today. Today was the day. I lost my other half. Ooh. His brother? So... I wonder if that's why... <laughs> my theory... If my theory that Ryuki is somehow committing these atrocities, maybe subconsciously his brain is like splitting people in half because of, like, the trauma of losing his other half. I pulled out a broken watch from my pocket. I had a younger twin brother. Oh, they were twins. He had a strong sense of justice. Whenever he saw evil, he would stand up to it, face it head on, no matter what. That's just the kind of guy he was. His dream was to become a detective and help bring all the dangerous criminals in Japan to justice. My brother and I were really close, and we hung out all the time. It was like he was another me. But on that day, six years ago, my brother and I were in the city, and we happened to see a wanted criminal. I called the police right away, 
But the culprit tried to flee on a big trailer truck. He was about to get away, so my brother tried to stop him. And he ended up in front of it, and... Hmm, right in front of Ryuki too? He got run over, crushed half his body. Oof. This is the watch he was wearing. His time has been frozen since. Ah. Ten. Thir uh, ten oh eight? Ten oh eight? And I lost my other half. My brother died six years ago, on February 13th. Today was the day. But I guess there's no point in me telling you all this. You already know my entire history. I hate that criminal. I hate the criminal that killed my brother. I wish I could catch him and rip him to pieces. And not just him. I hate them all. All the evil in this world. I hate it all. Then... Are you really going to give up now? If you give up, the evil wins. Okay, so... I'm probably way wrong. I had some really, uh... Some really fun theories that I, I felt pretty strongly were you know maybe accurate in some way from the first game and they i was totally wrong but i also noticed that if ryuki is involved in somehow picking the targets he doesn't like evil and he wants to rid evil and criminals from the world maybe the people that they have been suspicious of he he thinks that they are hiding something that he can't prove. He thinks that they're evil, so he takes it into his own hands. Subconsciously, of course. Miyuki, isn't there something you should be doing for your brother? Think about it. Yeah, you're right, Tama. Thanks for reminding me of my promise to him. I'll become a hero of justice. Half might. That's why I decided to carry on his dream and be a police officer. If I fall into the bottom, I just need to crawl my way back up. I can't let it get to me now. Why I became a sinker. The reason I became a sinker at Abyss was so I could encounter the more vicious criminals. The foul, immoral kind that evade the law. Sinkers dig deep into their hearts and make them pay. That's my idea of a hero. I lost something of mine in order to become a sinker. One of my eyes. I had to extract my eye to become a sinker. So you could transplant an AI ball? Me. The surgery was last summer. Right after I was assigned to Abyss. Yes, so you and I have known each other for about half a year now. I've lost many things along the way, but thanks to you going into my left eye, I feel like a lot of that emptiness has been filled. Ryuki... Tama, as long as you're with me, I can keep going. Hmm. No, I have to keep going. For my brother, I'm going to catch the HB killer. Yeah. Man, I'm I'm pretty invested in Ryuki now. I'm rooting for him. Okay, then it's time to pull myself together and get back to the investigation. So the Ryuki of are there pictures in these, right? The Ryuki of the present. Does he have Tama? Would we be able to tell? Yeah, it looks like he does. Okay. Um, this is interesting. His, his, um, thing has changed. So... He likes justice, duty, loyalty, and Date. What were his likes before? Hold on. Same. But the dislikes, evil, cheating, wicked thoughts, lies, and demotions have changed to evil, cheating, wicked thoughts, lies, and himself. Hobbies, drinking to oblivion, 
Severely emotionally scarred from the case six years ago, he was already un mentally unstable, but it got worse. Supposedly, he knows something important about the HB case. So, got any new intel? What? I'm sorry. <laughs> do you have any new information for me, please, ma'am? Yes, I do. I looked into Chikara Horidori some more and came across something fishy. Also, I found something interesting about Shoma. Okay, um... About Chikara? Chikara was doing some dubious research in the past. His current research is pretty dubious too, rewriting DNA to achieve immortality. It was even more questionable than that. Rumors say there were even human experiments involved. Okay. Human experiments? Anyway, word moves fast, and the research institute was temporarily shut down. This happened nine years ago. Okay. During that time, Chikara went missing for a bit to avoid being investigated. But what about the current institute? It was reopened after things had settled down. Of course, that required a massive amount of funds, which was provided by Riti Chieda. Who? Kizuna Chieda's father. Oh. Right. She's a, we just read that she's the daughter of the Chiedas. Hmm. Who is Riti Chieda? Riti Chieda is an extremely wealthy investor. He's rich enough to be on the list of the world's most wealthy people. He's involved in a wide range of business ventures and holds many different titles. Investor, philanthropist, the founder of the Chieda Foundation, a university professor emeritus, a national goodwill ambassador. And after all that, he also became the chairman of a social welfare corporation, Iowen. Iowen. Iowen? It's an orphanage. Seems that's where he is now. What is it that bothers you about Shoma? The location indicated in the hidden message in Bats 490 was a research institute. Mm -hmm. That's what Shoma said, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it actually wasn't Horidori Institute. I read through a ton of speculation threads online, and none of them mentioned Horidori Institute. Then where was it really? I don't know. All I know for sure is it wasn't Horidori Institute. And that means Shoma lied. I have to talk to him. Where's Shoma now? I don't know. It looks like he turned his smartphone off. But we do have a lead. Remember what Komeiji said? Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel too. He's almost in middle school and he still comes here by himself all the time. Ferris wheel? The one on the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Well... Wait, before we go, you have a call from Iris. Iris? Oh, Ryuki? There's something I wanted to tell you about the case. What is it? Well, I'm sorry. Recording is about to start, so I can't really get into it right now. Would you be able to visit Lemnisgate later? Lemnisgate? Lemnisgate, the talent agency Iris belongs to. I would love to go there. The building also has a small recording studio. All right, I'll see you there later. Okay. Heck yeah. Hmm. Our destinations are decided for now, but... Nyoen, Misaton, and the third is Lemnisgate. There's one more place I'd like to go. Marble in Golden Yokocho. Ah, Marble? Mama, the informant. What is she wearing? A veil? You suspect she might know something. That's right. Then let's get going. Yeah, let's go. We gonna go see Mama? And we can uh, check out these next places that we're gonna go to. So, Iowan Garden to go see Kizuna's dad. We'll go there first. Hi, Milo. How you doing?
Huh? Ryuki, why are you here? Okay. Three days to solve this case, or else demotion. To question people for the investigation. Why are you two here? Kizzy comes here to play with the kids sometimes. She really loves kids. Yes, I find it quite soothing, and it energizes me. I'm just tagging along. That makes sense. Mizuki could probably fit in with the kids pretty good. I feel like I just got insulted. Mind if I kick your ass? <laughs> <laughs> Vixis is quite popular with the children here. She played with them often when she was still living with Mr. Date as well. All right. We got some nice new, like, pleasant locations in this game so far. I like it. To a sub, Mizuki, what you doing? Just looking around curiously. Can't even begin to imagine her taking care of children. But she'll kick me if I say that, so I'll keep oh, it to myself. Oh, so you wanna get kicked? What? Your thoughts are written all over your face. Damn, uh, uh what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Being here takes me back. How are you? It's all right now, because I am here! Half might! Well, what? You just seemed kind of quiet, so I thought maybe you weren't feeling well. So I thought I'd just scare the shit out of you. But I'm always like this. Though, now that you mention it, I guess my old leg wound is bothering me a bit. Wait, where are you looking, perv? Huh? You brought it up. By the way, is that a bullet wound? Yeah. Doesn't it hurt? No, not really. It's from when I got shot by the new Cyclops killer. But I think the pain I felt inside was worse. Now I'll be scarred forever because of that bastard. Yeah, well... He did kill both of her parents, so... Makes sense. Shouldn't you be in school? School's closed because of the flu. We won't have classes for a while. Then aren't you supposed to stay at home? A certain freeloader is at home all the time because he's on vacation. It was so annoying. I had to get outside. <laughs> she must mean Mr. Date. Young girls have wills of their own. Okay, Kizuna, where's daddy -o? Um, uh, why do you call Mizuki Big Sis? Uh, we did not get much of a chance to speak yesterday. For various reasons, I have been living with another girl since I was nine years old. Another girl? Not your relative. No, we were not related by blood. We were the same age, but I referred to her as Big Sis. She was so beautiful, collected, and dependable. She was the spitting image of an older sister. There is something about Mizuki that reminds me of her. Hmm, I see. Beautiful and collected, huh? Why does that look in your eyes offend me so much right now? <laughs> Is she not with you anymore? When she turned 15, she was adopted. So, we do not live together any longer. Okay. You were close with Mr. Date, huh? Indeed. We have been quite close. Some time ago, when I nearly got in trouble with some delinquents in town, Mr. Date saved me. Since then, I have been showing my gratitude with home-cooked meals, or booking a hotel room for him if he is unable to go home for whatever reason. Like when we got in a big fight and I kicked him out. As we continue to interact, we have come to form a sort of mutually beneficial relationship. You must like Mr. Date, Kizuna. Yes, but merely as a friend. She was pretty direct about it. Yep, that old vibrating bed of a man would never be a viable romantic candidate. Whatever happened to... Iris's mom? I forgot her name too. I forgot everybody's names. So what is it you wish to discuss? F father And who is this? Hi. Mr. Ryuki from the police. He is investigating the HB case. I see. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Kuruto Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department. May I ask you some questions? That's fine, but I don't have much time. 
I would appreciate it if you're quick about it. I will try to be quick. It's Kizuna's father. You're Mr. Richi Chieda, I presume? Indeed I am. An investor and founder of the Chieda Foundation. You're also the chief director of Iowan and a major shareholder of Horadori Institute of Genetics, is that right? And all of that has kept me quite busy. So, you already know all that about me. What more do you want me to say? He's not very friendly so far, is he? <sighs> this guy's a piece of work. He obviously doesn't respect us. I mean, he is one of the wealthiest people on Earth. A police officer is probably like an aunt to him. Especially a soon-to-be demoted police officer. Do you know about the case? Of course I know about it. One of the victims was from the research institute I invest in. I've suffered heavy losses because of it. It was quite the aggravating incident. That's... nice thing to say. As a citizen, I would like the police to resolve this problem as quickly as possible. Okay, well... then... you know, let me get whatever information I need from you, please. Before they waste any more of our taxes, that is. Ugh. Ugh. About Jin. Jin Furaway. You mean the first victim? Mm hmm. Of course I know of him. In fact, anyone involved in finance couldn't avoid knowing him. Were you close with him at all? Not particularly. I checked. He and Jin had practically no contact with each other. About your relationship with Chikara. Well, he is the director of the research institute I'm funding. Or maybe I should say was. Either way, that was the extent of our relationship. He was quite... well, an eccentric individual. And... I only invested in his work. I don't care what his personality was like. It doesn't concern me as long as it doesn't affect his job. Was there any work-related trouble? Not at all. You seem to be searching for a motive for me to kill Chikara. I'm just trying to be thorough. However, I gain nothing from his death. I have suffered nothing but losses because of this incident. In other words, I am a victim as well. And you suspect me of all people. The police in this country continue to prove their own uselessness. This guy is so annoying. Seriously, what is up with this guy? If only he didn't have so much authority, we could pin something on him and book him. Well, hold on now. Uh, about Chikara? I understand you are the majority shareholder of Horidori Institute. As the de facto owner of the Research Institute, I'm sure you must know of its origins and insider information. What are you trying to say? I explained the information about Chikara that Tama had obtained. About the dubious research that he had been conducting. About the rumors of human experiments that his research facility was forced to shut down nine years ago. Along with the fact that Chikara disappeared in order to avoid being investigated. And that the current research institute was built after the heat from that institute incident had settled down. Did you know all of this? I did. You provided the capital required to rebuild the research institute, did you not? Yes. Why did you decide to fund it? The gene therapy research that was being led by Chikara. That research had a great deal of value and potential. Even with all the advancements in this day and age, there are many people who are still suffering from incurable diseases. Not to mention all of the children who can't live a normal life due to the illnesses they were born with. I have seen the suffering of so many people, precious to me. Shikara's research had the potential to help all of those people. It brought hope to humanity itself. It's certainly true that his personality and past weren't without issues, and I won't deny that the research faced criticism due to its radical nature. Still, if it can help alleviate the suffering of so many people, I wanted to put my support behind it. In other words, I invested in the future that research institute could bring us. Tama. Is there anyone in Mr. Chieda's family that has an incurable disease? That's a good question. No, and of course, he doesn't have one himself either. Oh, well? His only daughter is completely healthy, and his wife, Kizuna's mother, passed away long ago. Hmm. About Tokiko. Who's that? The president of Nye's Japan. Nye's? I'm not familiar. I've never even heard of it. Do you have an alibi? What were you doing two days ago? 
February 11th, around 8 p.m., and on February 9th, at 6 a.m. What is that supposed to be? Confirming my alibi? Yes, well, it's only a formality. <sighs> I see the police have no problem wasting people's time. This guy is just aggravating. Well, fine. Two days ago, I was having dinner with the Federation of Economic Organizations in Ginza. I was on a business trip on the 9th, and I stayed at a hotel in Kyoto. Tama? I just checked. He's telling the truth. He was spotted on surveillance cameras in each location. Mm -hmm. What is it? No, it's just... Is this your first time here? Kizzy's invited me a bunch of times before. Big Sis is very popular among the children, and she is great at keeping them entertained. I... I'm not as good as you, Kizzy. I see. Feel free to come back anytime. Any friend of Kizuna is welcome here. Ryuki, I just looked into Iowan. I came across some interesting information. 23 years ago, a child in their care went missing. 23 years ago, a child in their care went missing. In Ryuki 23, he is, and also his brother probably would have been 23 as well. But the two brothers weren't separated at birth, so probably wouldn't have been a newborn that went missing either. So that's probably just a coincidence. What? The child was six at the time. His name was Uru Somazuki. It was reported extensively, but he still hasn't been found. So he is the same age as... No. He was six at the time. So he's six years older. Wink sink. No matter how much wealth you have, there is a limit to the people you can save. How powerless I am. Perhaps it's necessary to be accepting of help wherever you can get it. Accepting help wherever you can get it. But Uru Somezuki. Oh, Mr. Chieda, there's one more thing I'd like to ask. What is it? It's about Uru Somezuki. You remember him, don't you? Yes. I will never forget. The Iowan missing child. That's what the media called it back then. Was it a kidnapping or an accident? The case was never solved. And the child is still missing to this day. What a painful memory. It makes my heart ache. Well, I guess maybe he's not all that bad. Ask about the missing child case. As the chairman, I take full responsibility. But wouldn't you agree that the police should take most of the blame? After mobilizing so many investigators, they weren't able to find a single clue. What do you think, Tama? He has some personality issues, but he doesn't seem like an evil monster. It doesn't seem like he's lying either. Though, it is concerning that so many mysterious incidents have been happening around him. Are we done here? We've wasted enough time, I think. I'll be going now. <laughs> Father! Oh, because he wants to marry her. Oh, no. Please let me marry your daughter! I swear I'll give her a good life! I swear it to the heavens! So please, please, give me permission to marry your daughter! 
Kizuna, I'll be coming home late again tonight. Yes. Goodbye, father. He's like, okay, daughter of mine, you're on your own with this weirdo. Wait! wait! Please don't ignore me! Kizuna, who is this? A stranger. Oh, wait, 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 wait! We met at Matsushina Diner two days ago! You're that unemployed guy, Lian, right? Did you go to the unemployment office? Uh, I'm gonna go tomorrow. That's a no. <laughs> In other words, you're a leech on society. I've never sucked anyone's blood. I don't think he was being literal. No job, no education, no manners. Not to mention, you're drinking in the middle of the day. It's non-alcoholic. Oh, uh, but this is non-alcoholic. And you dare call me father. To put it frankly, I wouldn't touch you with a 10-foot pole. How rude. I'm a human being, thank you very much. And I am not a pole vaulter. <laughs> In any case, stay away from my daughter. Though it's not like she would give you the time of day anyway. Uh, wait! Oh my goodness, this guy. Aww. Aww. Izzy's dad must be really busy. I don't think that was the issue. Looks like he's feeling down, but his core remains undamaged. About Mr. Chieda. Oh, I've been here before, but this was my first time meeting Mr. Chieda. Though... Hmm. Yeah, he's something off about him, huh? About Lien. That guy from Matsushita Diner is kind of a weirdo, isn't he? Kind of? He doesn't seem like a bad person, but... Kind of a weirdo? About Mr. Chieda. That is how my father always is. Uh, Mr. Ryuki, is my father related to the case somehow? It's still hard to say. I see. About Lian? He has been following me around since we met at Matsushita Diner two days ago. Great. A stalker. Mm-hmm. Considering how persistent he is, I may have to deal with him as a cop. Oh, actually, he was so persistent that I allowed him to consider us friends for the time being. Seems like this girl's problematic in her own way. She's just too nice. Lien, we meet again. Oh, it's you again. You seem to show up wherever I go. Maybe we're connected somehow. Not that I want to be connected with the dude. Neither do I, don't worry. About Mizuki. Ah, you were at Matsushita Diner too, weren't you? Yeah, why? Um, wait. Ah... Uh... What's this called again? Rendezvous? Deja vu? What? No, that's not it. A uh, fleur -de -lis. What the hell is this guy talking about? I have no idea. Uh, I almost have it. It's right at the back of my uvula. Can I choke slam him? Yeah. About Mr. Cheetah. Uh, I totally crashed and burned today. All because this thing caused a misunderstanding. I don't think that was the only thing that went wrong there. Uh, that wasn't the issue. Meeting the parents is a once-in-a-lifetime event. I wanted to calm my nerves a bit. But I'm definitely gonna get his approval next time we meet. That's some real positive thinking. Huh, damn right. If you aren't in it to win it, you've already lost. Maybe you could learn something from him, Ryuki. Don't even suggest it. But I was basically told that I'm useless just three days ago. Can't say it doesn't sting after hearing it so many times. Aw, who said that? Um, yeah, so what happened three days ago? Remember how I said I got fired from my cleaning job? No. But okay. In the place I worked. Oh yeah, he was a janitor. Yeah, I remember that. Was Horadori Institute. Oh man, so he got fired three days ago. That was before we went to investigate over there, though. What? I actually I used to be a thief. What? Why are you telling me this? I'm a police officer. I was so good at lockpicking, they called me the master of unlocking. Jill? 
Jill Valentine? Is that you? I used my skills to borrow valuables. Many times. I've gone clean, of course. Uh huh. I got arrested, did my time, and I haven't stolen anything since. I was so stupid back then. And I honestly regret it from the bottom of my heart. But Chikara Horidori, the director, found out about my criminal record. And he fired me. He told me, a person who falls to those depths can never rise again. Damn, no second chances, no redemption. Jeez. Damn it. It's just not fair. That's pretty harsh. I've been working hard since I got out of jail. That's why I was like that back at the diner, by the way. To be honest, I was debating whether I should just kill myself. This guy is so strange. So strange. That's when an angel appeared before me. Uh huh. And the rest me. is history. <laughs> That's right, Kizzy. You! I felt saved. I wanted to give it my all and live again. You saved my life. Leon, please tell me one thing. Anything! You have not stolen a single thing since you were released? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course I haven't. So you haven't used your lockpicking skills either? Huh? Huh? Oh, hold on! Don't tell me you broke into someone's house! N no That's not wrong, but it's wrong! That's not wrong, but it's wrong? Wait, whose house got broken into recently? Do we know anything about this? It's true that I opened a lock and broke in somewhere, but I wasn't committing a crime! That in itself is committing a crime! Arrest him! Ask about the break-in. The thing is, last night... Last night? You broke into a house? No, not a house. Uh... Oh! Oh, duh. Yeah, he is the one who broke into the, um, Nice at Law's place, because he... Somebody had him put the body there. I guess I have to say it. I broke in to Horadori Institute. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I was on to something. What? Oh, but like I said, it wasn't a crime. It was for an investigation. I was helping the police. The police. Strange. I didn't hear anything about that. Maybe it was unrelated to the HB case. The goal was to get inside the hidden room inside Horadori Institute. But in the end, we didn't find anything, so I didn't take anything either. Please believe me. Wait, who asked you to do this investigation? I can't tell you that. It's supposed to be a secret. Secret? You just told us the whole thing. Anyway, I just want you to know I didn't do anything illegal. At all. You should have just kept your mouth shut. Very well. I will trust you, Leon. Oh, thank you. You really are an angel, Kizzy. About Kizuna. As you know, I met Kizzy two days ago at Matsushita Diner. When I saw her, <laughs> it was love at first sight. And I tried to get her attention. When Kizzy left the diner, I followed her. When she boarded a train, I spent all my money to get on the same one. This guy's a stalker. This guy's a thief. When she went in the girl's bathroom, I followed her. And a pervert. Ryuki, cuff it. <laughs> but decided not to go inside. Even though she kept ignoring me, I never gave up trying to talk to her. And finally, in Yoyagi Park, she acknowledged me. Kizzy finally decided to accept my love. I told him it was acceptable to be strictly friends. So you gave in. You set a bad precedent there. However, I believe you promised you would be more serious about your job search. I do not associate with those who do not work, let alone be friends with them. Oh yeah, in her bio it says she doesn't like unemployed people. Yeah, but I was here yesterday. It was indeed helpful of you to play with the children. However, that does not conclude your promise to me. I'm sorry. I feel like we're destined to be together, Kizzy. I want to stay by your side. Destined? My name. Leon is spelled L-I-E-N. Yeah? In French, Leon means bond. 
Just like Kizuna means bond in Japanese. Well, well, how about it? <laughs> That's destiny, right? What about all the other Lians and Kizunas in the world? Hmm. Sounds like a bit of a stretch. I agree. This guy's nuts. Oh, crap. I forgot to mention something important. I should have said this earlier, Kizzy. The order was supposed to be the other way around, but here it goes. Kizzy, please marry me. <sighs> Wait a minute. Is that? I hope my Prince Charming will appear before me with a glass slipper someday. That's my dream. Not an engagement ring, but an engagement shoe. I bought them using my entire life savings. Please, accept. I... I... cannot accept that. We would need to have a relationship for an adequate amount of time first. What? Kizzy? You mean... you'll date me? No, that is not what I meant by relationship. I meant that we would need to spend time together as friends. How long? How long? Hey, how long would we need to be friends? Why is she giving him hope? Just tell him to go away. Well... She's just making this so much harder for herself. Five years. No, perhaps six. Six years. Oh, how convenient. If after six years you still feel the same way, then... Then... Okay, got it. Then I'll take good care of this for six years. What? Seriously? What is she doing? What if you lose them? Or break them? Hey, I have a good idea. Oh? Yeah, how about you leave, Leon, and never come back? Never show your face again. There. We're gonna bury them? I put the glass slippers in there. And the letters. I wrote out how I feel now in one of the letters. And in the other... I have written how I currently feel in that letter. Why is she... <laughs> Why is this she is becoming a, a part of this? We'll bury it here, then dig it out six years from now. When we dig it out six years from now, is there gonna be like a half of a foot in there or something? If you still feel the same way as what's written in the letters in six years... Yeah. Then you'll accept the shoes. Right, Kizzy? Yes, then... Perhaps. Huh. You know, that is kind of romantic. Okay, well, you know I'm rooting for them. I Whatever. I had the sort of sign to you, Ryuki. Okay, I'm burying it now. This is so bizarre. Ah, uh, I can't wait. Six years! Six years is a pretty long time. You sure you're still gonna feel the same way? Of course. My love is eternally undying. She just ran away? What? Huh? Kizuna, what's wrong? Oh, that again. That again? What? You know how dogs pee when they get excited? It's kind of like that. She's excited? Uh, I don't get it. Just watch. She's gonna sing? Oh my god. Keep dude on a string for six years, why not? Yeah, like, I... I just feel like... <sighs> it's just kind of fucked up. Um... Has Mizuki been holding that metal pipe behind her back this whole time? Because I'm just now noticing it. Right there. <laughs> Let us begin. Start the music. Oh, here we go. Frustration, and now I'm taking heat in the class. 
classroom Oh well, I'll eat some donuts in the bathroom Now I hear my friend got herself a boyfriend They're going out for barbecue on the weekend I see all of their smiles in their pics online Wait, why is that making me cry? Oh my Prince Charming, where can I find you? How do I remind you of the dream you share? But dreams are just for dreamers, lonely hearts and seamers have got to How I feel about that song right now. Sure is missing some of the. I thought so two days ago too. What's the what's what's it called? The vavush? <laughs> Am I making stuff up? Um. It's missing some of that energy from Iris's song. Okay, I thought so two days ago, too. You really are good at dancing, Kizuna. Thank you. Yeah, that was seriously amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I need to get going now. Yeah, see you later. Have a nice day. Good luck with the investigation. Hey, okay, bye. All right, let's go to Misetan rooftop. Were we looking for Shoma again? Talk to him again? He didn't really seem like he wanted to talk to us the first time. Oh, Mr. Ryuki. Well, there he is. What are you doing here? Here to see me on stage, perhaps? Oh God, please no. Sorry, but I won't be performing today. He isn't. Actually, I'm here to talk to Shoma. To Shoma? Ferris wheel with you. Aren't you having fun? I would be if you weren't here. Ryuki, Shoma is actually responding to the conversation this time. This is proof that the chastity belt of his heart is loose. If you shove yourself in there, he just might open up. Hama, can you please just shut up? Could you please not phrase it like that? Ryuki, why don't you try jumping off? No! Doesn't sound like such a bad idea, does it? Shoma is sitting in front of me. About Komeji. I don't want to talk about my dad. I told you before. I don't even want to think about him. Then why are you here where he is? About Komeji? Will you cut it out already? I don't want to talk about my dad. About your dad? I already told you! I hate him! Ooh, harsh words, boy. <laughs> Happy now? I hate him so much, I didn't even want to say it out loud. But you were with him earlier. I was here alone at first, then Dad came. He wanted to make up. Make up? Dad and I are fighting. I ran away from home yesterday. 
You ran away from home? What are you fighting about? My friends made fun of me. How is that related to your dad? Because it's my dad's fault for being so pathetic. Pull yourself together. Show me how cool you can be on TV. That's what I said to my dad. Then... I bring smiles to the audience. If I can do that, I don't care if I get mocked. That's what it means to be an entertainer. When he said that, I blurted out, That's why Mom got sick of you and left. Dad turned bright red, and... Then why don't you just leave too? That's why I left the house. Oh, come on, guys. <sighs> You hate your dad that much? Do you think I could like someone like him? A stupid old comedian who gets clowned on all the time. Yeah, but... He's your dad. He barely ever goes on TV either. And when he does, it's always some ridiculous thing like getting piping hot Odin shoved into his mouth. The day after he goes on air, I always get made fun of by my friends. I hate it. I'm sick and tired of it. Aw, poor kid. Are you sure you don't actually like your dad? I told you, I hate him. Everything about him. I hate how much he drinks and how he acts so cocky and stubborn when he's drunk. He talks about all these big dreams that he can never achieve. When he sobers up, he remembers what he did when he was drunk and squirms under the blankets. Isn't that sad? It makes me hate him even more. The way his nose hair is always sticking out, the way he wipes his face with sanitary napkins, his stupid, awful singing in the bathtub. Everything about him is creepy, awful, and pathetic. I hate him! For hating someone so much, he sure pays him a lot of attention. They say there's a fine line between love and hate. Jeez. The way he talks is making me uncomfortable. Like. Ugh. Okay, um. Let's let's praise his his robot. That robot you showed me the other day was really cool. If you're that skilled, I'm sure you've gotten offers from lots of companies. N not really. I'm nothing special. I'm just really into robots. But even an amateur can tell that robot was filled with impressive technology, and the one wheel design is beautiful. It is very nice. I, I like it too. Well, I knew it had to run on one wheel for sure. It was really hard getting the self-stabilization feature working with the one-wheel design. Like, major electronics companies make one-wheel robots to show off their advanced tech. Mm-hmm. Also, what's really great about my robot is its load capacity. It doesn't look like it, but it can easily carry up to 45 pounds. And I want to upgrade it more so it can carry double that. I see, I see. Huh. <laughs> I know you don't really care. Looks like it won't go the way it did last time. Hmm. I guess flattery won't get us anywhere. Okay, about Mizuki. I told you before, she's just a classmate. We're not friends, and I don't know much about her. Supposedly, she's attending school from her house near the harbor. But I guess her permanent address is in our school district or something. That's why she goes to the same school as me. So you do know a lot about her? No! That doesn't mean anything! Not like I'm even slightly interested in that uggo. Oh, he's totally into her. Well... He really is a kid, huh? It's no good. Shoma won't open up no matter what I bring up. Looks like we won't get through with the orthodox method. That means... We'll have to try our luck with his father. Oh, I thought they were gonna sync with him. That means send him to the sink machine. Oh god, we're Boy, back in this I'm glad damn you invited me on the Ferris wheel too. <sighs> this damn Ferris wheel with this damn music. Thank you. Our objective is still to unlock Shoma's chastity belt. You're still going on with that? It would be tough to question Komeiji about tricky subjects if Shoma was nearby. That's why you invited him here, right? Yeah, but... Now that I think about it, we rode this Ferris wheel together two days ago. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Ryuki, it seems like your investigation is going around in circles. So about jumping off. 
I'm leaving my eyeball here too. Tama can stay. I'm gone. So, uh, what is it you wanted to talk about? If it's about the case, there isn't much else to say. Ugh, okay. About... Ask about... Kameji himself. I used to be a real big shot back when I was known as the Quiz King, remember? But I let it get to my head, and as soon as I became a comedian, things flipped completely. There was no hope for me to move up in the world. My wife got sick of me and left. I've been raising my boy alone ever since. And yet... Do you regret becoming a comedian? Not at all. I'm proud of being a comedian. At the same time, I'm not proud of my lack of success. I put Shoma through so much hardship. It's inexcusable. Uh, why are you wearing your stage outfit when you're not performing today? This is the only outfit I have right now. I actually have another set of personal clothes, but I ruined those two days ago. But this bow tie, that'll be fine as long as I have this. Isn't it nice? Shoma bought it for you, didn't he? That's right. Even if I only have one set of clothes, I can wear this or take it off depending on how I'm feeling and wow, it's as if I changed into a completely different outfit. Not really. Yeah. Oops, it would be terrible if I lost it, so I'd better put it back on. I don't get this guy. This tie, Shoma chose it for me so I could really shine on stage. When I wear it, it feels like Shoma is cheering me on. It gives me strength. It's my most precious treasure. What happened to his other pair of clothes? Set of clothes. About Shoma's lie. After some careful consideration, I told Mr. Komeji that it's highly likely Shoma lied about the message hidden in Bats 490. Shoma lied? Yes. I see. I don't know much about that hidden message thing, but Shoma is a good boy. He wouldn't lie for no reason. So the lie was he told us the wrong, like, medical institute that Bats 490 was about, I believe, if I remember correctly. I know that's not that convincing coming from his father, but he must have had a reason to lie. How can I get the truth from Shoma? I have no idea. I can't really talk to him right now myself. I'm sure you're aware, but I got in an argument with Shoma yesterday. What is that? Shoma made it for me when he was little, but yesterday he ripped it up and threw it away. Aww. It was really important to me. Hmm. I want to make up, but he... It must be difficult, considering how things are now. It's all my fault. The argument only happened in the first place because of my lack of success. Um, Mr. Ryuki, there is something I'd like to talk to you about. Hmm? What is it? No, never mind. Please forget it. Ahem. <clears throat> what was that about? It sounded like you wanted to tell me something important. Dang it, we were about to get some really good information! Hey, Ryuki, why don't you try wink syncing with him? Oh, good yeah. idea. I'll try taking a peek. Let's take a peek into his mind. That's not morally questionable at all. I know you're in there! Deadline on the payment passed a long time ago! Drop it up, you bastard! Ah, it's the loan sharks again. A different set of guys came by yesterday and the day before that. I've been borrowing from so many different places, I don't know who's who anymore. 
Anyway. Hmm, that's not a good place to be in. What am I supposed to do? I can't talk to the police about it. Uh, uh. So he's borrowed money from a lot of people. He said he can't talk to the police about it, but he's getting so desperate that he almost did. He must have been in real trouble if he even got involved with loan sharks. But why can't he talk to the police about it? Don't tell me. Supposedly he has connection to the Yakuza. Word is he's involved in some dangerous transactions. Kameji. You wouldn't happen to be struggling with debt, would you? What? How did you- I knew it. That's what you wanted to tell me, right? Why can't you get the police involved? Is it because you're buying and selling on the black market? W what are you talking about? I would never do something like that! And what is it? I tried asking Komeji more questions, but no matter how much I questioned him, he didn't admit to any involvement with the Yakuza. In the end, I was unable to find any clues leading to the key to Shoma's heart. Dead end. Another dead end. Huh. Shoma isn't here. Yeah, I think I pissed him off pretty thoroughly. Let's try to get to another place or two before we end tonight. Where did that boy run off to? We still haven't made up. Uh, I, I feel kind of sad Yuki. for this guy. I need to go find Shoma now. So, well, bye for now. Okay, Excuse good luck. Me. I hope you guys can make up. Meiji and Shoma, huh? It's clear that they're both hiding something. Even if we chase them down and ask again, we'd get the same result. I guess we have no choice. Let's go somewhere else for now. Yeah, let's. Alright, to Marble! I don't know why you would say this game is weird, Grunt. I mean, this looks totally normal. What is oh, Ryuki, honey, welcome. What is so weird about this? These are upstanding and normal looking citizens. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Mama. It's been so long. Sorry, Mama, but I'm not here as a customer today. I was wondering if you knew anything about the case. I see she has some crystal balls now. That's a new development. Before it was that like piece of dried fish or whatever that she would, uh, she was like polishing. Now she's polishing balls. Do you mean the HB case? Yeah. Mommy and Gen are here. But they're acting strange. They're both quiet, turned away from each other. All right, let's look around. Ryuki, want to see a video of naked men hugging each other in the dirt? Yeah. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> it's just a sumo video. <laughs> Ryuki, you ever do stuff on a bar counter before? Oh no, I don't know if I don't know if we should put Mama and and Tama in the same like room. Oh yeah, the dried bonito. I don't know if we should I don't know if we can handle both of them together. Like what? You know, something that starts with S. Um, 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 what starts with S? <laughs> Besides the obvious, sushi? No, a, an action word. Like a verb or, or a, a... Imagine putting Date into the mix. Oh, no. Can you imagine if Tama and Date, if Tama was in Date's eye socket? It would be just like a, a, a feedback loop back and forth. <laughs> Never ending. Sleep? Yeah, there you go. Sleeping? Yeah, we sleep on the on the counter. 
I don't think so. Really? Well, I've served customers here before. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> book. Suspicious book. Anyone can become a necromancer. Oh, interesting. Shelves. Alcohol. Let's count how many. No, I'm not doing that. Beer tap. Menu. Specialty socks. No double dipping. Specialty socks? No double dipping? Do I want to know? Probably not. Movie poster. Entrance exam pajama paradance. It's a movie about crashing an entrance exam in pajamas and doing the para para dance. Where can I see this movie? Where can I see this movie? Amame's here again. She's facing away with an annoyed look on her face. What is going on? Ah, a sumo wrestler. Who are you calling a sumo wrestler? Are you upset? She's mad again. What happened? Well, okay. Well, we're not going to get anything out of her. Again. He's facing away and there's tension in the air. Um, a forest nymph. Huh? Where? Uh, are you upset? Oh, the silent treatment from both of them. Excuse me? Nope, nothing. Well, I mean, like, she was upset before. She was sad. It's Mama. She's lovingly polishing two crystal balls. Crystal balls? Is that a crystal ball? Yes, these are my big milky balls. Milky. Balls? Oh, but I'm not talking about testicles, honey. Yeah, I know. I started telling fortunes as a side business, and believe it or not, I actually gained the ability to hear them. Voices from other dimensions. Why is your voice getting like that, Mama? Uh, other dimensions? Yes. One day, I was suddenly gifted with the power. I suppose it's more accurate to call it a seance than fortune telling. You both sound pretty fishy. You're just going to pretend you're hearing voices, aren't you? No, I'm completely serious. I mean, I don't even remember what happens while hearing the voices. Oh, why don't we give it a try? I could ask about the HB case. Okay. You might believe me if you see it in person. No, it's okay. No, let's do it. No need to be so modest. It'll be free of charge. Do the seance. Then let me ask the milky balls. You ask those milky balls. Can you stop calling them that? Oh, great set of balls. Who is the most beautiful in all the land? I mean, better milky balls than sweaty balls, am I right? That is... I regret asking for this. Oh my! <laughs> you flatterer! <laughs> That's not even what I wanted to ask. And the answer is completely wrong. That was just a joke. I figured. Ahem. Now, let's try this for real. Oh, great set of milky white balls. I need you to give me some clues for an investigation. One after another, victims have been torn in half in these half-body murders. Where can we find the key to exposing the culprit? Face. A hidden face. The true face, as yet unrevealed to all. That is where the answer is hidden. Huh? Did I just say something? I told you, I black out during these seances. Don't remember a thing. Um, 
I feel like that's probably true. The true culprit culprit is somebody we've we haven't seen yet. About the hidden face. Let's see. The first thing that comes to mind is Gan's face hidden under his mask. But he's sensitive about it. It's not something I can just ask. Yeah, and it's hard to say if this is really related to the case or not. The only other thing I can think of is... Ah! Jin Furaway! Huh? It might also apply to Jin. But Jin's face is well known. Yeah, it's not like he hides it. It's true that photos of his face have been all over the place. But he's never actually gone out in public in person. Not even once? Not even once. It's not because he's shy, is it? If that were the case, his photos wouldn't be out there either. I've heard he's an extreme narcissist. He circulates all those pictures himself. Okay. By the way, Mama, what's up with those two? Well, the thing is, they had a bit of a differing of opinion. What do you mean? No, Mama. The problem is Guinea's total lack of common sense. My lack of common sense? Are you sure you're not talking about yourself? You sound like a stupid person right now. That's mean. How are you gonna talk to a young girl like that? What? You're the one who sounds stupid. You probably couldn't even beat the first question of the All-American Ultra Quiz. Wait, wait, wait. What is this argument even about? Well, we're having a disagreement. All right, you jerk. Why don't we get a neutral third party and ask them? <laughs> that's what happened. So we came to Marble to get Mama's opinion, and that's where we're at. But when I gave my input, it only made things more complicated. I know. Now that Ryuki's here, let's see what he thinks. Well, <clears throat> look at the time. Gotta go. Yeah, then we'll know for sure who's right. So, question time. Huh? What's the name of the island where the Statue of Liberty in New York is located? Liberty Island? Liberty what? Island? Even you think that, Ryuki? <laughs> I don't know. I don't live in New York. I live in California. The answer is Ellis Island. What? Oh, hold on. That's ridiculous. It can't be. The Statue of Liberty is definitely on Liberty Island. Is this one of those, uh, what you call it things? No, it's true that the Statue of Liberty is on Ellis Island. I mean, there's no such thing as Liberty Island anyway. No, I've definitely heard the term Liberty Island. What? That's not true. So you're in agreement with me. There's definitely something wrong here. What's the thing? What's it called? The Mande Mandela effect? Or is it Mandala? Whatever. That thing? Hey, what do you think, Tama? Of course it's Ellis Island. This is common knowledge. What? Well, she can. She is an AI robot. She can probably, um, just like look it up in her. She can like directly connect to the internet and find out. Look, I just looked it up online. Mm -hmm. Now do you see? The Statue of Liberty is located on Ellis Island. It can't be. Again, I still can't believe this, but it looks like they're right. Impossible. See? Anyway, they've been butting heads about the location of the Statue of Liberty this whole time. That's what this is about. But it looks like they finally came to a conclusion. I see. If you all say so, I must be the one who's wrong. I'm sorry, Amame. I was mistaken. As long as you understand now, that's good enough for me. Everyone makes mistakes. Now, I need to get to work soon, so I'm heading out. I'll stick around for a bit longer. Okay. Then I'll see you three later. What about your restaurant, Gen? I closed up shop for the day. I couldn't acquire any ingredients I was satisfied with. 
Really? Closed for a reason like that? It's really important to me. It would be rude to serve mediocre dishes to my customers. I think I'll go to the warehouse district at the harbor after this. I thought I could watch the waves and think up new dishes. We gotta click on everything again? Oh my god. Any new dialogue? Or are we safe? Actually, it doesn't look like there's anything new. Wink sink. <sighs> what do I do? What in the world? Should I do? Hmm. It's Gen. I can't see his face with the mask on, but he seems a bit down. About Mommy. Mommy and I go way back. There are times when we have arguments over little things, like you saw earlier. We're basically family at this point. So if anything ever happened to her, I would do everything I could to help. I believe that I have to protect her, no matter what. Okay, well, that's good. What if Matsushita Diner takes your customers? I'm not worried about that in the slightest. Ota from Matsushita Diner doesn't understand the first thing about the true essence of cooking. Damn, throwing that shade. To the warehouse district at the harbor? Yes, I love that place. I can watch the ocean in silence with no one around. I find it very soothing. For some reason, Date seems to go there often as well. About Mr. Date. I have been very close with Date for some time. He often stops by Brahmin before coming here to drink. I trust him. There are only three people who weren't afraid of me the first time they saw me. Date, Amame, and Lian. You know Lian too? Yes, he's a regular at Brahmin as well. Lian just wandered in one day while Date was there. They hit it off right away and had quite a lively discussion. I joined them after closing up for the day, and the three of us drank until morning. Huh. That's an interesting group. I can't imagine what you three would talk about. Probably porno mags or something. What are they? Teenagers? Oh, uh, we talked a lot about porno mags. About your mask? Putting Date, Amame, and Lian aside, my appearance makes most people uncomfortable. But if I didn't wear this mask, I would scare them even more. If I recall, your face has a congenital condition. Yes. Would you like to see? What? My face. No, you don't have to if you don't want to. But, but, but please offer to show. Not that I'm trying to avoid it or anything. I said that, but to be honest, a part of me wanted to see. Not out of curiosity, but because of Mama's words early from earlier. Face. A hidden face. The true face. As yet unrevealed to all. That is where the answer is hidden. X-ray. Ah, his skull is all... misshapen. I don't believe it. I could clearly see Gen's skull, but it didn't seem like the answer to solving the case was hidden there. No point in staying here much longer. Yes, let's move on. Well, yes. Gen, Mama, I'll be going now. Yes. Very well. Please take care. Stop by to get a break from work every once in a while. Ole. Um, I guess we should probably stop there. I kind of want to go to the next... I want to go to Lemnus Gate. Tomorrow. 